this video, we are going to solve the problem about the ideal gas. Here is our problem. Helium with a mass of 3 kg is kept in a hard container at a temperature of 30 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 250 kPa. What is the container size in cubic meter? So in this problem, we can use the ideal gas equation of state. But what is the ideal gas equation of state? The ideal gas equation of state is any equation that relates the pressure, temperature, and specific volume of the problem stats. It is the combination of the gas laws. It is given by equation P2 plus RT or PB plus MRT, where P is the pressure, P is the pressure, V is the lowercase P is the molar volume, R is the gas constant. Capital V is the volume, M is mass, T is temperature, and Kelvin. So both of these equations is the same or equivalent. So we use this equation, PV plus RT, when we solve problem and we don't consider the mass of the gas person. But this equation, we use the equation when we solve problem that we consider the mass of the gas person. Now we will talk about the gas constant. The gas constant commonly has a unit of kilojoules per kilograms times Kelvin, or kilopascals times cubic meter per kilograms times Kelvin. It is given by the equation R equals R sub U over M, where R sub U is the universal gas constant and has these constant values, and M is the molar mass. And based on this equation, we can also rewrite the ideal gas equation of state as PV equals in R sub U T. Going back to our problem, using the ideal gas equation of state, which is PV equals RT or PV plus MRT, this thing on the given when you have pressure plus 250 kilopascals, temperature is equal to 30 degrees Celsius, mass is 3 kilograms, and R is unknown. So fine, so what are you going to calculate in this problem? So based on the problem, we see that we are looking for the container size in cubic meter. So we all know that the unit for volume is cubic meter. So therefore, in this problem, we are looking for the volume. And in this problem, we will use this equation. Since we consider the mass of gas present in the problem, so we have the value for pressure, temperature, mass, but we don't have the value for the gas constant. So we will solve for the gas constant first. Solve for gas constant. So we know that gas constant is given the equation R equals R sub u over M, where R sub u is the universal gas constant and M is the molar mass. So note that the molar mass of helium is equal to 4.002602 grams per mole. And we all know that R sub u or the universal gas constant has the value of 8.31447 kilopascals times cubic meter per kilograms times Kelvin. So since we have the value for the gas constant and the molar mass of helium, we can also solve for the gas constant. So plugging in the value, we have R equals 8.31447 kilopascals times cubic meter per kilogram times Kelvin divided by the molar mass of helium, which is 4.002602 grams per mole, we will get R equals 2.077 kilopascals times cubic meter per kilograms times Kelvin. So this will be our gas constant. To find the value for our gas constant, we're looking at our property table in N-1. So, so we are it is 2.0769, which is also equal to our answer in the previous slide. 
since we found the value for our gas constant, we can also solve for the volume. So, PV equals MRT. So, since we are looking for the volume, we derive this equation and we will get V equals the mass times the gas constant times temperature over the pressure. So, plugging in all the given values, we will get 3 kilograms times the gas constant, which is 2.077 kilopascals times cubic meter per kilograms times Kelvin times the temperature, which is 30 degrees Celsius. And note that if you're dealing with ideal gas, you need to convert Celsius into Kelvin. So, therefore, we, need, we add 273.15 Kelvin divided by the pressure, which is 250 kilopascals. And calculating this, we will get the volume equals 7.556 cubic meter and this will be our final answer in this problem.